Like, I know we're not supposed to judge books by their cover. Right. But we all do. It can be useful. And games aren't different. What's up, everybody? I'm Mike. I'm Nick. We are the Brothers Murph, and you know what? Box covers are important. They are important. It's the first thing you see. It's the very first thing that might make you interested in the game Dude, enough to take a look at what's on the back. in a game store and you grabbed a game because you're like, that's a colorful box, and you just grabbed I it wanna, and looked at it, I right? want to know more based off this art. Maybe the rest of the game is awesome, Like, right? it's not indicative of what's inside, but it, it helps you get the game and even look at it in the first place. So this is kind of a weird list, but you know what? We're going to do our top 10 favorite box covers. Absolutely. You know what? I love box covers, and a good box cover because we also have a shelf of games. It's a nice art piece, it's really. A, it's all, you want it to look nice, yeah. you know, stuff like that. And so, top 10 box covers. Let's go. Now, if there's any game that helps really solidify the idea that it's really good to be on top, it's Castell, because look at this guy. That dude's not having fun. But the lady at the top is having a great time. So Castell is one of our favorite covers because you literally see this awesome perspective of this mass of people forming this giant human pyramid, uh, which is a real thing that happens. And it uses brilliant colors. And all throughout Castell itself, they use these wonderful kind of pastel colors that are just bright and make me happy. So this cover is just one that's really unique, really interesting, uses kind of uh, brilliant colors and looks like a painted picture, which is very satisfying. So Castell just always makes me really excited to play. And then everything that we're doing within the box also brings that color to life as you build these human pyramids. So Castell is our number 10. Our number nine is Unmatch, specifically Cobble and Fog. To be fair, you can choose basically any Unmatch because Unmatch probably has the best art of any game ever. It's just, it's just incredible. Like every every card in Unmatch, I would put on my wall, like really. But the cover for Cobble and Fog is just incredible. So in Unmatch, you have all these different asymmetric characters, but they all have a specific color to them. Like in this case, Invisible Man is blue, Jekyll and Hyde is green, Dracula is red, and uh, Sherlock and Watson are kind of this orangish yellow. And it's just that separation of color in the cover just works and really shows that these are distinctly different characters who are gonna be doing different things. And just the art style in Cobble and Fog is just incredible. And the Jekyll and Hyde stuff particularly, and especially on the cover, it has a kind of broken glass mix between Jekyll and Hyde and this kind of dual personality is just so good. And it has the smoke in that like foggy streets of London feel to it even though it's literally just like portraits and characters it's just oh man it's so good i just everything about unmatched series we love and cobble and fog is the best cover of them all which is saying a lot and it's just it's so good that's why it's our number nine Now our number eight is The Networks because we love TV. We grew up in the 90s, so of course we love it. And The Networks is all about running your own TV station and the cover of it is really fun. The whole Networks game uses interesting art and the cover really um, makes you think of like that control room where you have 15 different channels all at once and you're kind of scanning and seeing all of them go on at once, all that different programming and stuff. So it just really kind of feels like what you're doing in the game. It feels like you were running a studio, you're watching all your shows, you're keeping a track and an eye on everything so that you can provide the best programming to break in those viewers. So the Networks is just super fun. It gives you a really good feel of the type of humor that arises in the game with all the kind of parodies of uh, famous TV shows and things like that. So right from that cover, it really kind of lets you know what you're getting into and that's a really good time. So that's our number eight, the Networks. Our number seven is a game called Baseball Highlights 2045. Now this one is kind of a more simpler cover, but it, there's just, okay, first of all, Mike and I are massive baseball fans. San Francisco Giants are the best team ever. If you disagree, you're wrong. Uh, yeah, you're wrong. Um, but nonetheless, we love baseball, which definitely helps with this game, but we do love this game. I just, there's something about this cover and just like the swing and then just the positioning of like the robot cyborg and you see you see the robot but then you see also like the big megatron like big tv behind them showing and the broken bat and the stance and it just i just feel like it gives a this it really represents this game of this futuristic baseball where there's cyborgs and robots playing and just 
there's something, it just feels like, you know what it is? It feels like you're in the park because you can see the player. You can see the player playing the game, but you also see like a big old blown up version on the TV behind them. And it just, I feel like it feels, it captures the stadium vibe of live sports really, really well. I don't know, and there's just something about this one that I absolutely adore. The positioning on the figure is really cool. It's just, ah, oh, I just love it. Baseball Highlight 24-5 is such a good game. Baseball rules. It's back, it's spring, it's back. I love it, I'm so happy. Baseball is the best, and this game is great. So the entire Evolution series, Evolution, Evolution Climate, and even Oceans has beautiful watercolor art that is just incredibly unique to board games. There's not anything that's like it. And Evolution Climate specifically has an amazing cover because you have this wonderful animal in the foreground. You have all these landscapes kind of in this rainbow uh, array of colors and a beautiful setting sun in the background with this volcano that's showing that climate is going to play a factor in this game. So again, it lets you know what you're getting into and it just shows you the absolutely unique, beautiful art style. It's one of the most unique, wonderful art styles in any game, period. So uh, Evolution Climate's an easy pick for us. It's just a beautiful work of art, one that I would happily just put up on a wall because it's that good. And that is Evolution Climate. So next up is Yellow and Yangtze. Now this is a game that we've actually never even played. I just like the box cover that much that it had to go on the list. This is a great box cover by Vincent Dutre. Vincent Dutre is one of the most prolific and great board game artists out there. So you know the art itself is incredible. But I think what I like about this one is just the composition. You have like kind of like the soldiers in the bottom left and then you have kind of the leader in the top right. And that composition is really cool. And they just have this big expanse of this wonderful, beautiful landscape. It's got this very kind of yellow, red, orangish feel with a bit of blue, a bit of green in the water and on the mountains and stuff like that. And there's just something about this. This kind of goes back to just like, this is just straight up art. And of course it is, it's board game art, but it's like, this is just a beautiful painting. You can take out the title of the game. And honestly, this is a wonderful piece of art that you should just put on a wall. But they, instead they put on a box cover and it's gorgeous. Vincent Dutrait knows what he's doing, right? We know at this point he's such a good artist and he's one of the most sought after board game artists for a reason. And this is one of the main reasons. Look at that cover. It's just, it's gorgeous. Yellow Yangtze is so good. I mean, the game, I don't know. I've never played it before, but the cover, oh, I've almost bought it so many times just off the cover because it's that good. Oh, it's so good. And that's why we chose it. So next up we have Yamatai, one of the most beautiful covers ever. It's just beautiful. It's absolutely packed with color saturated feeling. It's so exciting, the cover, that when we played it, we were like, oh, I wish I liked the game more because this cover is amazing. But the cover is that good. It pulled us right into the game and the, and the game is something I wanna give another try, but I remember almost being let down because the art was so incredibly uh, impactful on the cover that it couldn't match the level of the game itself. But Yamatai again, and Jeremy Fleury just kills it with beautiful characterizations and the color choices and everything just makes you feel immersed in a wash with uh, color and saturation. It's wonderfully uh, done and that's why it's on our list. So next up for us is Sierra West. Talk about just great paintings. We've talked about that a couple of times, just, just flat out great pieces of art. Sierra West is that. This is a game where it stopped me in my tracks. I was at Origins, the convention, and I was walking through the convention. I went, I was like, what is that? What is that? I really like pioneer themed games, not necessarily Western, but like specifically pioneer themed and just the man uh, panning for gold on the front and it's the beautiful like landscape, very painterly loose kind of style it has. I just, oh my gosh, again, it's just a beautiful piece of art. You have the river, you have the mountain. It's kind of Bob Ross-esque in terms of just like, it's just a beautiful mountain landscape and it really feels like you're out on the frontier. You're a pioneer out there paying for gold, making it work in a tough world, and just, it's just pretty. I mean, look at it. It's just pretty. Do I need to say anything else?
Now our number two is Yukon Airways. This is a game that um, when I saw the cover, and I don't even quite know why, it just struck me. It is just like, <gasps> it's just so beautiful. Again, the color choices are very important. That's something that Nick and I really enjoy is the use of color. And it's just kind of simple. You have this plane that's flying with this humongous sun as the sun sets low in the kind of Canadian wilderness. And you see that kind of, uh, the kind of lower colors of the trees and things. You're over the water with a little cabin that's kind of glowing. It, it like, just the perspective, the contrast and stuff, it gets into things where it's like, I don't know art well enough to understand what's going on and why it's appealing, but I know that it is doing things that are appealing. It is using things that my eye sees it, my eye gets happy, okay? So Yukon Airways is just a game that is hard to beat art-wise. It's just striking. It is absolutely a shelf piece, one that I would wanna have on prominent display because I think it makes people stop and go, what is that? And that is something that you always wanna see with a box game cover. Number one's War of the Ring, because look at it. You got King Theoden, Theoden King, and you got the Witch King of Angmar in this really like crazily dynamic pose. Like not even just like, ah, I have a big old mace. He's just like in this big, like those weird dragon bat things they got and just the completely surrounding Theoden with the wings and you have the white horse. Oh gosh, Snowmane, I believe is the horse's name. We like Lord of the Rings a lot. So you have King Theoden on Snowmane, and then you have like some all fonts in the background. And again, we talked about it a couple times, just like, just beautiful pieces of art. Just look at it. It's so good. It's so pretty. If you like high fantasy type art, even if you don't love Lord of the Rings, it's just a beautiful piece of like, wonderful fantasy artwork. And it just works for Lord of the Rings. Lord, uh, War of the Ring is a big, epic, all-encompassing Lord of the Rings in the box type game. And this cover says that. It says, hey, this is a game. It's gonna take a little bit. This is gonna be an epic experience. And you know that, because look at this box. It's wonderful. It's our number one War of the Ring. Oh man, it's so good. It's so good. So make a good impression. Absolutely, that is our favorite box covers. There are many more great box covers out there. Let us know what box covers are your favorites in the comments below. I really below. want a lot of comments. This could be a really cool, this could be a really uh, cool thing because there's, there's so, so many. many. Like, it was so hard to get to just to yeah. this 10. There are so many more, but let us know. And again, we really think that art and box covers are super important yeah. because it helps get people into trying out a game, which is important, right? Yeah. So that's it for us, everybody. Uh, until next time, I'm Mike. I'm Nick. We'll see you in the next list. Bye, everybody.